Is there a number that would do it, that would get us there, a free market number? What would do it? There is a free market number. As I said, they're losing four, 14 to $15 billion a year. It's a combination of uh, deliver pre what people want at a price they're willing to pay. In some cases, we've restricted what the post office can charge for various classes of mail. But the biggest challenge is there are about 660,000 workers at the post office. In the private sector, there would be about 400,000. And it's not a debate about whether we need to get to that number. It's how we get there. Do we get there by inducing retirements and finding a way to trim that workforce? Or do we wait for people to retire from an organization that has has three full-time employees that are 98 years old, literally, not, not, a, not a talking point. We have a problem at the post office that it can't seem to shrink on its own fast enough. No. As a result, the biggest problem is we're paying people who we don't really need and not doing the reorganizations we should. Are we going to see post offices closed in some smaller towns, and are we going to see delivery on Saturday still? Because that's what most constituents probably well, want to know. This, and Becky, that's, that's a good point. The, the Saturday delivery has been hotly contested. The truth is that when I was born, we delivered seven days a week and twice on Monday through Friday. Mm -hmm. It was a time in which we, re we really relied on every day having to get mail and businesses had that twice a day because they wanted the morning mail and the afternoon mail and they processed. Today we're in an internet age in which the mail is for less than it used to be. You can now do documentation and contracts. You can buy and sell billion dollar entities over the internet. So is there a reason for the post office? Absolutely. Do we need six day delivery? I personally don't believe so. But in the bill that we moved out of our committee that, that I believe really needs to move, what we did was we said that's one of the options. It saves a big chunk of money, about $3.3 billion. But I'll tell you something that's not known by the public widely. If we simply had everybody go to a box at the front of their house or right at the corner of the street, like many people do, actually the majority do, if everybody did that, we'd save six, five and a half to six billion dollars. Just the, the arcane idea that the postman walks up and sticks it inside a chute of some homes, but not the majority of homes, that saves more money. That's one of the transitions along with a more modern, more efficient fleet and others that need to happen. But I will tell you the, the direct answer to most people, processing center reform, eliminating some of the 500 processing centers and streamlining those actually saves more money by far than uh, closing post offices themselves. If I might, uh, just on this, one of the things that we're missing totally here is the overpayment, overfunding of the pension fund, okay. uh, which I notice that you know some people just don't want to talk about, but it's a serious number. It's billions of dollars, and I think if we start there, we take the biggest chunk. Uh, of resolving this issue and move on. There's serious things that have to be resolved and a lot of different uh, ideas, but my businesses in my community want delivery of mail on Saturday. Uh, a lot of people in my district want delivery of the mail on Saturday, uh, and they also understand that this is a service that has great value to the American public, yet we don't pay a dime of taxpayer money. Uh, at one of the hearings that we had, there was testimony from the Postal Service that it was $3 billion a year of value to the American taxpayer, yet the taxpayers pay nothing into the Postal Service. So we should start with the pension overfunding and work from there and then try to work around. But I think you know, we should take a serious look at reserving the Saturday delivery for our businesses and for many of the people that live in our districts.